All right, humans, I just grabbed breakfast at the Swift Current Inn restaurant. I had some French toast and orange juice. Uh, it was okay. Kind of pricey for what it was worth. Um, but I am leaving Mini Glacier Campground and I'm on my way to the Chief Mountain route. It's a little bit of a backtrack, but that's okay. Um, yeah. I packed out a Gatorade and a lot of water. Um, there is two water sources that's pretty close by, but it is filled with horse poo. So I am glad that I packed out the extra. It's a little heavy, but totally worth it. So when I was planning this hike out with the ranger, I thought he told me from the mini glacier campground to Lake Elizabeth, it was like 11 and something miles, maybe 12. So I'm not sure what's going on, but like on this little map that they give you, I'm showing that there's another trail right here, but I did not see that on far out. And I did not see like a trailhead or anything. So I don't know, but I do know from when I left camp this morning, Lake Elizabeth was 18.2 miles. So that's a bigger day than I was expecting. Looking at this, it seems like that route that he highlighted also has the tunnel, which I hear is really cool. So I think I'm gonna miss that, which is a bummer. And I think I just added like, <laughs> six or seven miles to my day. Um, but what's more of a bummer is this trail hasn't been my favorite. It's pretty much tucked in the woods, not much of a view. The bugs are terrible and there's horse poo everywhere. So before you tackle this section, I maybe stop at a ranger station or make sure you don't overlook that little junction because I kind of wish I would have like maybe paid more attention or stopped by the ranger station and been like, hey, where's this at? been more forward um <clears throat> maybe then i wouldn't have had to backtrack a mile but hey we all have our journey and i'm embracing it <laughs> but just kind of wanted to share that with you i have about 10 miles left to get to this lake so i'm just taking a little break i packed out a little banana bread from the Swift in store this morning. I'm kind of taking off my shoes and stretched a little bit. I'm experiencing some major hip pain today, my left hip. This has just been off and on, just giving me issues. So I've been trying to like stretch it out and just work with it, but yeah, I'm really feeling it today. But this is my little view. I'm just gonna be taking a break at. Um, this finally opened up. I've been tucked in the woods most of the morning with horse poo, so this is a little bit of change of pace, and this feels good. This day was absolutely beautiful and breathtaking, but I definitely experienced wind on an entirely new level.
The Red Gap Pass was so hard to keep my balance. The wind was literally taking me off my feet. I contemplated using my tent as a parachute to get off the mountain quicker, but I did not. Oh, finally some trees. Man, that wind was brutal. I'll be honest, I was kind of like scared for my life a few times. It actually knocked me over a few times. So I was like, wow. But back in the trees. Thank you, Jesus. All right, we are going to Elizabeth Lake this way. Um, also pretty sure that this was the alternate route, by the way, this way, this is where the junction would have come out that I did not take that. I just added all those extra bonus miles. That's okay. We are now going to Elizabeth Lake, 1.9 miles to end my 18.2 mile day. This day just reminded me that you can experience something so beautiful, but yet terrifying. And it's crazy how Mother Nature works in the most mysterious ways. The ninja stance saved the day multiple times. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And as they say, what doesn't kill you in the moment just makes a pretty good story afterwards. Ah, oh, the wind is brutal down here too. Got rocks in my tent tonight to keep it down. Yo, I don't know. This is <laughs> the wind today, man. I've never experienced wind like this, ever. Stepping out of your comfort zone and experiencing those experiences, I feel like helps with the most growth and helps us form us into who we need to become in life. It's those hurdles and jumping over the puddles and getting through the valleys that help us get up the mountain and helps us form us into who we need to be.